Good morning. Welcome to another day of adventure on the Appalachian Trail, Appalachian Trail. I'm super excited about today because uh, today I'm going to reach my 100 miles height on the AT. Whew, what an accomplishment. I am stoked about that. And it's a gorgeous day. I'm going to start here at Rock Springs Cabin Parking Area where I let off uh, the last video where I ended. And I'm going to hike uh, down 5.5 miles to Malam Gap. So, great day. Looking forward to do it, but we're going to hit 100 miles, y'all. So, let's get this adventure going. If any of you are considering hiking in the Shenandoah National Park, I gotta say, you will not be disappointed. This has been wonderful up here. There's so many great views. If you do the Appalachian Trail, I think it's 101 miles. The AT runs through Shenandoah National Park. Um, all kinds of different uh, flora and fauna and sweeping views and it's just beautiful. It follows along Skyline Drive, which if you don't hike and you want to see this area, Skyline Drive is a great option. I'm not sure how long the drive is. Some of you might know, call it out. It's probably close to that 100 miles. Um, but there's overlooks all along the drive that you can pull over and take pictures and see these views that I've been seeing during my hike. And it's just a wonderful place. And Everything's starting to bloom. Now the peak season here is autumn when all the leaves are turning. I, I used to live in Northern Virginia. I might've mentioned that before and we'd come up for the weekend and it's spectacular as a foliage. If you're into the fall colors and seeing the leaves turn, just be forewarned, it gets pretty busy up here at that time of the year, but um, it's gorgeous. I imagine that would be probably October, mid-October would probably be peak, but Go on the Shenandoah National Park website and check out information on that. But if you're thinking of coming up here, you will not be disappointed. This has been just a beautiful piece of the Appalachian Trail. I've enjoyed myself immensely. In spite of the rocks. They're not everywhere though, so don't lose heart. <laughs> So our first big view of the day. Wow. If you got a mind to do this, you can do it. Just get out, get up, get out, get moving, one mile at a time. The views are worth it. The bugs are not.
I had to shed it later. Start warm up. It's 57 degrees now. But, uh, there's a chance it might rain a little bit later on, but we're prepared if it does. Um, starting an uphill here, about had about a mile climb to our next summit, and should be some pretty nice views coming up. And then we'll be doing going through the big meadows area, which I hear is wonderful. So looking forward to it. So far, so good. If the gnats would stay away, all these bugs are coming out and dive bombing to me. So my next leg of the hike will definitely include a bug net for my hat. So stay tuned for that loveliness. Look at this blow down. Not all the way down, but that's a big one. I'm leaning up against a not so big tree. Hmm. I'm gonna move rather quickly through here. I'm walking just below a campground up here on the hill. This must be part of the big meadows. Um, lodge and stuff like that. They must have a campground. But literally, if y'all come up here and camp, you want a car camp? Right behind you is the Appalachian Trail. You can go in either direction. So that is also a good option. But I think we're going to come up to some more big views soon. You can see it. there's Big Meadows Lodge up there on the hill. That's a great place to stay if you want to visit Shenandoah and Skyline Drive. Their balconies have exceptional views over the valley. But uh, that's a great option if you want to come up and stay in a lodge here in Shenandoah National Park. Especially in the fall with all those leaf colors changing. But make your reservations. I'm sure they book up pretty quick. Yeah, we're coming up here to the highest peak for the day where I think we'll have a view then it's downhill You never know what you're going to come across on the Appalachian Trail. A cemetery. Huh. This is called Tanner's Ridge Cemetery. This is Tanner's Ridge Road. 
and I'm assuming a lot of these graves, if not all of them, are from families that were originally settlers here. It was now Shenandoah National Park. Some newer graves, but it's pretty interesting. Welcome to Appalachia and the Appalachian Trail, a graveyard. Guess what, y'all? I did it. I've just walked my 100th mile on the Appalachian Trail. I did it. A hundred miles. I've walked a hundred miles. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm so excited. Bring on that T Rex and that pterodactyl and them zombies. I got this. Okay, so I literally walked maybe 30 feet, and I come to this. And up here it says, Peaks. Somebody left me a 100-mile mark note. I have a feeling I know who. Not going to name any names. Danielle. So exciting. Double celebration. 100 miles. That is so sweet. You, She walked all the way out here. Somebody, I'm assuming it's her, if not, it's that T-Rex. And that's disturbing. 100 miles, Peaks. Oh my God, let me just let that sink in for a minute. As I go across this bog. I'm going to tell you the honest God truth, y'all. About a year and a half ago, I couldn't even walk a mile on a flat paved surface without stopping 900 times. Uh, for breath. I couldn't walk a mile at sea level practically without a break. I have walked 100 miles on the Appalachian Trail and I know the elevation somewhere, the elevation gain, I've climbed somewhere between 17 and 18,000 feet. Oh man. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Let me just encourage you. What a day. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful experience this has been. All right, y'all. That is a wrap. What an incredible day. I made it 100 miles on the Appalachian Trail. Woo! I feel so accomplished. And uh, I couldn't have done it without the help of all my supporters and uh, all the folks that have been helping me out, specifically up here, Stumble Inn Hiker Hostel. Danielle and David have been instrumental in helping me reach that 100-mile goal. And uh, I really appreciate all the support that uh, all of you folks at home have given me all the words of encouragement. And I'm stoked to keep continuing this journey. Now, the question is, where do I go next? Jamie's on her way up here to pick me up, and I'm going to go home for a couple weeks and see my family. I'm going to swap out some gear, resupply, and pick my next destination on the Appalachian Trail. Don't worry, I'm still going to be posting videos. I got a lot to say about gear, about my favorite parts of the trail, my least favorite parts, all kinds of stuff. I got plenty of walking and talking and just serving up trail realness to do. So stay tuned. Now, if you like what you see and you haven't already done so, you click that subscribe button, follow the rest of this crazy AT journey. But until next time, stick with me. I am going somewhere. I just got to figure out where that is. I got an idea. <laughs>